Welcome back to the Mayorverse, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Mayor Reynolds, aka Midnight Mayor, coming at you with another dead drop video. And even though Snapshot 5 just blew up, it's lighting the gaming world on fire with vertical gameplay elements. Great, really snappy, crisp, fun gameplay. Uh, we had to talk about Snapshot 5. You really didn't think that I would go without speculating on Snapshot 6 now, did you? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'll probably say 5 instead of 6 on accident. 20 times in this video but now that so many people are playing dead drop the game's been in development for one year and midnight society has dubbed this year the year of expansion that means we're going to start to see new features some of these features have been promised some of these features have been hinted at some of them are going to be speculatory on my part but let's talk about the things that i think snapshot 6 needs to really iterate on snapshot 5 we've got a great base built here the map looks and feels great the movement the gunplay feels really really strong so how can they build on this and what features are needed in dead drop for snapshot 6 to really light the world on fire like snapshot 5 has let's talk about it i'm gonna run some gameplay for my twitch stream in the background make sure you come watch me play dead drop at twitch.tv slash mayor reynolds okay so i got three big things that are my most wanted features and i've got some others that i'm going to talk about that are are promised that are on the way uh, and then some other smaller things. But the, the number one biggest thing that I want to see in Dead Drop, and this, this could be, for me, this would be huge, personally. I want to see you be able to invite your friends to your party to actually queue in a group. So right now, everybody's talking about Dead Drop. They're telling their friends to buy the tower key, which is only on sale through this Friday, by the way. I just did a video about that. Make sure you go buy it, get into Dead Drop, for all future snapshots we don't know for sure if they're going to sell more of these at any point so uh make sure you get in while the uh strike while the iron's hot so to speak the ability to, to queue with your friends uh would be great in my opinion a because i want to play with my friends i want to get my friends into dead drop right and i want to be able to get in the game and show them and play with them and you know share loot and have that shared experience people are doing that on their own right now but i think it would be great to get it as an officially supported feature and it also changes a lot of people are talking about the teaming some people love doing it there's been some really wholesome experiences like the one i posted on twitter and TikTok, where i found a guy who was pinned down by a sniper had nothing but a pistol and i uh, led him to to have a much better game from there i kind of swooped in and saved him other people don't like it when there's five people you know teaming at the top of the tower and, and you know, it makes it really really difficult for the rest of the people in the match um, or, you know, just the ceasefires in general. A lot of people want to play the game competitively. And, uh, you know, you've got all of a sudden 8, 10 people. There's, there's been controversy about it. Some people love it, meeting new people. Some people don't like it. Uh, but it's there. If you could officially queue with your friends, I think that would that would help because it, it, you can then just at least have it. Okay, I'm getting into the same game with my friend. I'm teaming with this person who's obviously on my team. Other extraction shooters do this. Marauders, for example, let you go in with up to three people. That doesn't mean you're going to be necessarily up against other squads of three people. It just means that you, when you're running solo, you might run into a team of three people. And it, people are going to do it anyway. They're teaming right now, right? Why not? Just allow it. Allow friends to queue together. Guarantee that you're in the same game. Uh, and let really play up that social experience, which is playing games with your friends which uh, makes every game more enjoyable and will certainly make Dead Drop uh, enjoyable to play with friends as well. So that's my number one most wanted feature because when I get friends into the game, I want to be able to play with them, right? Like, I don't want to say like, oh, let's queue at the same time. Hopefully we get in the same game, that kind of thing. Okay, next thing, key mapping. This is a thing that a lot of people have asked for uh, to be able to customize your keys. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of people who are also asking for more controllers to be supported. Uh, I don't know when it's going to come. Again, that might. this is an active development process. I'm not a game developer. Uh, I'm, it is going to come, obviously. PlayStation controllers will be supported over time. I am sure of it. Uh, contrary to what Jim Ryan at PlayStation says, Xbox is not trying to put PlayStation out of business. Uh, <laughs> whole other ActiBlizz story. But I think, yeah, custom, custom, customizing your, your keys and your key binds uh, would, be, would be a good step forward. I don't know how much work that takes, uh, but that, I think a lot of players would like that, as well as the support of more controllers. I am not gonna go ahead and say that I think uh, console support is going to come for Snapshot 6. Obviously, a lot of people would love that. I'm I'm not gonna go ahead and say that 
I believe that it is. Um, but I would be remiss to not mention it, that console support, there's a lot of console variants out there who would love to drop into Dead Drop for the first time uh, with their Visor Cortex. And I, I you know, Midnight Society's on record saying that they're working with both PlayStation and Xbox to try to do this. They want to do it. Who knows when PlayStation and Xbox will allow it. I think the snapshots, starting with Snapshot 5, are now at a point where they are stable and far enough along that they could qualify as demos. Hopefully, Microsoft and Sony see it the same way, but I can't speak for that. We just know that Dead Drop is planned to be on console. There's console variants out there, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can make progress sometime during 2023. If not, sorry, console players, we'll just have to wait. Just the way it is. Uh, next up, leaderboards. I would love to see, even if it was just not in the game itself and web-based, like a separate website or something, I would love to see leaderboards tracking, you know, the number of, of kills people have, uh, the number, even if it was just kills and dead drops or extractions, I would be thrilled with that. But you could obviously go more in depth damage. Um, there's a whole different, a wealth of categories. And I have a video on the channel, which I'll link up here during this video that you can watch talking about how dead drops approach can actually help make it a, a competitive game. And I, because of the sin system, and so on and really change the game for extraction shooters. And I think leaderboards would be a great first step in that direction. I mean, other other extraction shooters have leaderboards as well. For example, Marauders has one, one of my personal favorite uh, extraction shooters, not named Dead Drop. So hopefully leaderboards would be something. We got our first tournament. I'm really, really, really hoping for an official tournament and Operation Maximum Damage on Boom.TV. Uh, during Snapshot 5, I would love it. Uh, there's some other creators who are announcing tournaments for this game. I hope to be playing in a bunch, so make sure you follow me again at twitch.tv slash Mayor Reynolds because I may be playing in some of those, and I'm really excited for the competitive nature of this game. I think leaderboards are a good first step in that direction. That's my big three. That's the three features that I want to see most. I've got more, but I want to see, you know, group queues, being able to play with friends, key mapping, and leaderboards. That, that, that's, that would be my dream. Whether they can do all three of those, in the next three to four months? I don't know. That's just my dream for Snapshot 6. But let's talk about Snapshot 7 because there is a tease and I did I did the uh, a video for it right on this channel within the variant guide. It's a car, a muscle car, obviously, from Dead Drop with the license plate Roman numeral 7. And Midnight Society has been clear that the garage and customizable cars and all that stuff is coming back and I think the license plate heavily infers that it's coming in Snapshot 7. It's very likely we will be able to not only right now, we can get paint jobs for the cars. You can already loot that, extract them, add them to your inventory and change the color of your car in the game. Now that's been a thing for a few snapshots, but I think you're going to get like a lot more customization stuff to be able to go into the go into cold storage, go into the tower, find new parts and upgrades for your car and extract them, customize them. We also expect the car to have some type of gameplay loop or, or presence in the actual game at some point. I will be surprised if that's actually part of Snapshot 7, but maybe, maybe it will be. I don't want to say that it's not. Midnight Society has continually surpassed my expectations and moved so fast with this game. The Marauders, again, which I did a video comparing Marauders to what Dead Drop may eventually be, has a really cool element where in Marauders, you go in in a ship and then you land on a dock Maybe Dead Drop will have has some type of thing like that where you actually drive your car to the tower, park somewhere before you enter, or maybe it's going to be as simple as, you know, a, a cutscene like I've said. Maybe when you arrive, when you load in, like in Warzone, or when you get out on the chopper uh, at the end in Warzone, where you get in your car and you drive off in the sunset or something. But but we, it's highly likely that cars, the garage, and maybe the hideout as well from Snapshot 4 and, and before return in Snapshot 7. The cars definitely seem uh, more likely or more hinted at than the hideout. But uh, Midnight Society has also promised that the hideout will eventually be customizable. So you'll be able to kind of like, you know, build a build and, and customize your own hideout and your own little place to bring other players into your friends to show to show it off. Maybe the stuff you collect in in the tower 
you'll be able to place that in the world somehow or there'll be certain spaces you can customize put things on the wall or you know we'll see how it goes but i think again not snapshot six seven at the earliest uh maybe later for for the hideout and customization right we, we don't know let's not they're not gonna give us we can't they can't make everything in three four months right and then uh ugc mode has been announced i did a video about this yesterday on the channel make sure you check that out this is their forge mode their map editor mode their create fortnite creative mode it's their user generated content mode for the community to make their own content we don't know how in-depth it's going to be will it allow us to actually build environments will it allow us to just change the mode and the gameplay rules all of the above we don't know but we do know that it's official the next society has announced it we just don't know when it's coming again i'm personally planning for this to be something much later like not snapshot 7 maybe 2024 but we do know that variants are going to be able to access that mode and test it out first and i do i am very excited for that mode and i have some ideas for different modes and ltms you could craft custom games all in my video about ugc mode make sure you check it out and then the last couple things one of these is a suggestion that i made a long time ago it, to midnight society in in the dead drop discord and the other one's just like a personal i would love to see this kind of thing uh so the the one thing that i maybe they could have ready who knows we've got some weapons in the game right now some of them have finished models there are a few that do not have finished models we have the lmg some of the pistols are not finished i believe uh i think the double barrel is not finished so i mean a we could get more finished gun models but i would really like to see uh at least maybe one new gun just one new gun the snapshot six and you know we got the smg right now which is very very good and we've got pistols we've got shotguns we've got uh dmr we've got ar so what what really could they add uh what what space are they not occupying yet you know that, that's what i'm thinking of in the in the gun meta uh let me know if you have an idea for what you would like to see for guns everything's pretty well represented right now i think maybe taking the lmg and making it shoot slower like a 50 cal but hit harder might be a cool idea uh, or another lmg that, that is like that uh maybe an smg that has a very small mag but shoots very very fast like a vector a chris vector or something like that just throwing ideas out there one new weapon i think in a in the next snapshot or two uh would go a long way to keep the hype building and give us something new to put to try out maybe they'll go something like completely crazy because this is an alternate timeline maybe they introduce a whole different type of weapons maybe they you know our variants are holding melee weapons do they introduce melee weapons at this point in the game i kind of hope they don't unless it's just for like a aesthetics almost like a uh almost like the the apex heirlooms or something like that not a whole separate melee system we don't even have melee attacks in the game right now um so anyway just throwing that one out there and then the last one and again this is not something i expect in snapshot six but i've speculated heavily on it and i've been making a ton of content about the crazy movement and scaling mechanics in this game scaling the environments the verticality they've really taken the concept of vertical extraction shooter to heart and made a lot of clever and innovative gameplay mechanics around it so right now you can hang off of ledges almost like you're about to do a pull up and i made a video speculating about this and a suggestion that i would love to see the ability to grab onto somebody who's nearby and they'd have to be like really close right not not necessarily like you wouldn't want this to be too op or too easy but uh you could grab onto somebody and throw them off the ledge and because of the verticality of it you could have some really epic this is like batman arkham asylum or splinter cell uh, style stuff stealth kills maybe executions too and i would not expect that in snapshot six this is way down the road a lot of the team worked on call of duty gears of war and halo all of which have had executions as part of the gameplay at, at some point of varying kinds i kind of think they'll make their way into dead drop maybe as part of the battle pass system when that is implemented i've got tons of ideas for this game guys they just, they just keep flowing uh i wish i could be in the room when they're developing this game because this team's so talented and they've got so many amazing ideas doc was just talking about mobile looting as a, an idea that could change the game picking up somebody's bag who knows when something like that could be implemented this, this game really is a journey and they're developing it different than what than what a standard game developer does 
And that's what's so amazing is that the sky is the limit. They're listening to us. They're thinking outside the box. They're trying new things. And uh, that's why I'm so excited to be part of this community, playing this game, to be a variant, to have this channel and covering this game is it's just so exciting. So thank you all for being part of it. Thanks for your support watching the video. Make sure you check out this message from one of our sponsors at the end here and make sure you're subbed to the channel because I'm going to keep you guys updated on all the gaming related news in general, but especially Dead Drop and Midnight Society, which is what we focus on here at Midnight Mare. But I've got other YouTube channels as well, which focus on gaming news and so on. So that's it for this video, guys. Midnight Mare.